Google Form. I think it's been such a powerful tool throughout my research life. And also recently I ended a contract in a company and I use it as an exit survey. And this is a really helpful tool that I want maybe more people like you in PhD or postdoc to know about and make the best use out of it. So today I want to share with you behind the screen just a few features how Google Form can be made if you are not familiar with how to create one. And I'll share a few personal stories on how I have used Google Form and how they have been really transformative to a lot of part of my life. Welcome back to PhD Coffee Time. This is the online community for you as PhD student to get motivation, peer support and practical tips during your PhD. The first thing of my Google Form application was when I was teaching six students back in postdoc and I was stubborn about making sure I graded the knowledge in advance before they joined the course. And I also grade the knowledge level, the self-reported knowledge level, how confident they are on certain topics to evaluate my own teaching. It's more like an entrance score and an exit score and I want to find out if they have improved or not. And from that experience, I also collected a lot of open-ended questions from my students, what they think about my teaching, how they really hate or enjoy certain part of the course. I realized it's really effective way when you have a standardized forms to collect data from everyone and you can really reflect your performance from the perspective of the others and it checks a lot of the blind spots that I couldn't have seen. And also on the practical scale at the time I wanted to be professor so there was one document you have to write is called teaching statement and Google Form I have borrowed some of the language and, and I have said in my teaching statement that my students from my course have said this about me. Thank you for saying nice things about me. Some of them have said this is the best course I have taken in the university. It was really good to read that and I make sure that I don't identify who they are. But I think it's really helpful to get feedback from student perspective using Google Form. Second application I have was Google Form was a different context. That was a problem back in postdoc. We had a problem with buses, which is a really random topic. At the time, I was a postdoc association representative. We were helping to summarize the status of how we are missing bus service in the summer. So what I've done is I created a Google form and I asked to send out a shareable link and I asked everyone to fill out are they present in the summer during the weekend. There are a lot of us who are researcher, they need to go to the campus on the weekend. And in the United States, a lot of international students don't know how to drive a car and they really needed the support by the university. From a Google survey, I was able to quickly summarize all the findings from over 200 participants. And I communicate this with an administrator in the university who governed the budgeting of transportation. And in the outcome of that meeting was they were really impressed with the data we have collected and they decided to give us extra buses by moving budget around and we are all going to have enough support so people if they need to go in and check on the cell lines and check on the 72 hour experiment, they now have access during the weekend as well to go to school. So I think that was really a powerful tool to collect a lot of data in a short time, uh, involving a standardized way of collecting data. And more recently, because I'm a new worker in the pharmaceutical industry. I created a Google form for my colleagues on my last day of the contract and I asked everyone to fill out how do you think on the scale of 1 to 10 my performance in terms of effective email communication, professionalism and all the other criteria that I think are really important for my role. So in the end, I got quite a few responses. I get more moments of self-reflection that there are certain areas I need to improve for my next job. For those of you who are new to Google Form, you can go to Google Chrome and next to where your Gmail is, if you scroll down, you will see forms in purple on the lower right. There are many templates you can use collecting people, contact information, party, RSVP. In my student's questionnaire, I think I used the template of cost evaluation by just clicking on the change what is the response, such as short answer, long answer, multiple choice, check boxes, which means you can take more than one choice, a drop down, linear scale, which could be from the scale of 1 to 5, 1 to 10, 
By clicking duplicate, the same style of response can be modified. You can go to responses and they are downloadable spreadsheets. You can keep that for further Excel analysis. You can send the form by clicking send to an email, or you can just use a link by shortening URL and just copying and pasting the link to an email list that you have. I think questionnaire like this in Google form is really valuable and our own imagination is the limit. By the end of this video now, I hope you will give it a try and design your own Google form. And by the way, I also designed one for you guys to fill out what you think about this channel so that I can also check my blind spots on this platform and I can serve more of you that is suitable to what you need in PhD. So I hope you will take a moment to fill out this Google form for me as well. If you're learning something today, please make sure to hit the like button so that it really will help me reach more PhD students out there. Comment below, do you use already some of these tips? And share this with anyone that you're working with so that everyone can progress a little bit more as a scientist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.